Let's talk about how you send broadcast messages to your database inside of ManyChat so you can communicate with your real estate leads who have subscribed to you either through Messenger, Instagram, or have provided their email and or text uh, phone number for you to communicate with them and follow up with them. So to create a broadcast, uh, basically you have three options for sending a broadcast uh, through Messenger, SMS, and email. Uh, you can also do um, Telegram and WhatsApp, uh, but I don't cover those in this specific training. So to get to those broadcast messages, uh, you go to broadcasting on the left, you hit broadcast, and then you can hit new broadcast. Uh, you can also broadcast from flow, which means if you've already created a chatbot flow, you can send that specific flow through a broadcast uh, without creating it. But if you're just creating a new broadcast, uh, you can create this broadcast to uh, send to your, the people in your database. Now, the first thing you need to know is that inside of uh, the messenger, sending a broadcast out to people, uh, there are some rules uh, uh, against sending it to people outside of 24 hours and different reasons that you can do that. Um, but you also have different ways that you can broadcast to people inside of Messenger, um, which I'll cover here in a second. But also you have the uh, SMS text and email, which, you know, SMS is, is simple enough. You connect your Twilio account and you uh, can send it to anybody who has provided you their phone number and opted in. Um, and then all you do is click that button, start a broadcast, you add your text, uh, whatever it is inside of that text message. You can add images, you can do text. You'll see how many texts, uh, depending on how many characters you provided, uh, that it will count as. And this does charge a fee. You know, it's like one cent or something per message uh, through Twilio. Um, but you can just write that message there. You can add links, uh, uh, all those different things for your text um, broadcast. Uh, you can also, you'll see here down, let's see, you see down there that it shows 162 subscribers. If I just sent it like this, that's how many people will um, receive this broadcast. You can also narrow it down with a target audience and you can uh, do a conditions where it's like only <clears throat> people who have the home buyer tag or the home seller tag or whatever tag you created you can send it to only those people if you want or any other uh you know filter that you want to use in the conditions you can narrow down that audience uh how you want so once you write your text message pretty straightforward you click that send now button uh, you can preview it in mini chat you can preview it in me in your messenger uh, and then you can also schedule it for another time and then you can just schedule that broadcast so uh, pretty straightforward for using text messages to broadcast to your database inside of uh, Minichat. So the next one I'll show you real quick is email. <clears throat> now, it's uh, essentially the same uh, structure in terms of who, who you send it to, uh, anybody who's provided an email, uh, your target audience, you can you know change the condition, anybody who is a buyer, anybody who's a seller, uh, you can narrow down by their tags. Uh, but then all you do is create uh, this email right here through this email format and you can just click on it. You know, you enter the subject, the preheader, you edit the design, you can add a button, you can add additional automation steps. Um, you know, opens up the uh, email design template right here and then you can go through and create that, um, that email uh, through this template right there. Hit preview before you send it. And essentially, uh, as soon as you have the email all squared away and ready to go, you can send it and it'll send it to, um, you know, 159 subscribers just like this. And uh, is, that's as easy as that to send an email broadcast. Now, the last one is going to be that um, messenger broadcast. And this goes to pretty much your messenger uh, database. So um, they do have this option to look through the messenger this way. I like using the flow builder just because I'm used to that. So I'm going to change it over to here. <clears throat> and then we could see the, uh, the option to send outside of 24 hours. So we can send within 24 hours and you'll see the bottom, again, the bottom right hand corner, 
uh, nobody has interacted in the last 24 hours in this account, so it's just going to say zero, and I can't send it to anybody. But if I use the outside 24 hour window, and then use a list, which I cover in another video, then you can send it to um, people outside of 24 hours, depending on if they have subscribed to your follow-up uh, uh, request. So they, you basically ask them if they want to receive follow-up messages. They say yes, you can send follow-up messages. Uh, you can also send it for post-purchase updates, confirm event updates, and account updates. So if they signed up for an open house, um, you can send it to that database. You know, you can see here that it's uh, keep going the wrong way. Now I can send it to 439 people uh, about the the open house that I have or whatever. Make sure that it is something that you know they are expecting. You can't just use confirmed event update and then send an event that they know nothing about. Uh, but if they are kind of aware of the event and they want to. Um, information to be followed up with it, then you can do it that way. Uh, so I would, you know, create a open house <clears throat> broadcast. Anybody who's interested in it gets a tag. And now you can, when you want to follow up again, you can go th use that tag in the condition and, um, you know, open house follow up is the tag. You click on the tag and you'll see who will receive that tag, that message, um, uh, after the fact, after so through the follow up. So again, this is, you know, you just write your message here. Uh, you can check out the flow building video for uh, instructions on all the options you have here. But uh, those are the options for um, basically respond or sending broadcast to your database. Within 24 hours, anybody can receive a message outside 24 hours, there's rules, um, whether they're on a list or if it's a non-promo, um, you know, account update, confirmed event update, or post-purchase post update, which for real estate, uh, if it's anything, it might be a confirmed event update. Uh, I don't know about a post-purchase or an account update. <clears throat> um, yeah, so uh, I, I do cover messenger lists in another video, so that is a way to get, uh, have the ability to follow up with your, your uh, subscribers outside of 24 hours. So again, just create that message, however that is, write that message, send it to another flow, do all the things, whatever you wanna do there. You can preview it, send now, and then uh, schedule it for a different time. So those are how you send broadcasts inside of Minichat. Uh, and then the last thing that you can do is paid messages. So you can click on uh, paid messages. I don't know if I have in this account. Um, basically paid messages is going to be essentially a um, running running a type of ad. So it goes through your ad account. Facebook charges you approximately the same cost as a text message. Uh, so like one cent or a couple cents or something per message. Uh, and then you can send it to your entire database uh, through a type of um, an ad broadcast. So it doesn't send to every single person like you click the button and everybody receives it. It kind of sends it out to people dependent on their like algorithm. So it's not a perfect system. It's not gonna, uh, it doesn't always send to every single person, but it sends to the best people and uh, the ones that are actually interacting and stuff like that. So you just uh, select your ad account. Uh, let me see if I can go through it real quick here. Okay, and then, a Again, you just, you know, write your message, whatever that is. If you want to uh, tell them about open house this weekend, and then the button says, tell me more. And then, you know, you can go to another flow. You can go to a website. Uh, if you want to say, um, let's talk about, or, or a good thing for this is, you know, if you're doing YouTube videos or, or TikToks or whatever, if you have a new video that you really want to promote, you can say, hey, check out this new video about XYZ, click the button below, and then that button's going to open up the website to your um, to your YouTube channel. So it's a good way to drive people from your database into uh, your YouTube videos and get more engagement and stuff on your YouTube videos. So those are different options that you can do for broadcasts. Um, the next thing is going to be selecting your audience. 
um, your budget, bid control, and then the sending period. So read over these to for for kind of direction on this because it changes. Um, sometimes I have to put in you know a hundred dollar budget, hundred dollar bid control, just to send to a handful of people. Uh, even though I know it's not going to send anywhere near a hundred dollars, it's going to send like five dollars or something like that. Uh, the way to get it to work best, sometimes you have to put $100, $100. Uh, and then the sending period, have it like five to seven day period. So it's not just like, you, I want it sent today at nine o'clock. It's I want to send it over the next week. Um, and that's how they send it. Again, it's not, like a, it's not like a text message where it sends directly to people as soon as you click it. It's feeding it into the algorithm and kind of promoting it into their inbox kind of like an ad. Um, so once you do that, you hit that publish button at the top and it will go through the approval process on Facebook. You can see it inside of your ad account as well. So if you go to your business um, uh, meta page or Facebook page, then you'll be able to see it inside of that ad account that you are connected to uh, through, through Facebook. Um, you can also do these paid messages through Facebook's um, ad process. I'm not going to show it here, but it's a similar thing where you select, you know, send messages, messenger, um, messenger objective, send messages, and then you send it to people who have interacted with your page, which kind of does the same thing. Uh, so again, it's not like, you know, you have a phone number, you send it to that phone number. It's people who have interacted with your page, people who are in your database, you know, all those different things that, uh, are, are interacting with your chatbot and page. <clears throat> All right. That's, uh, that's broadcast in a nutshell. Um, if you guys have any questions about how any of this works, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more training videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.